Every year, drone factories produce more than 6 million of these flying machines, generating revenues that exceed billions of dollars. These figures make drones an icon of modern innovation. But how do you create a machine capable of soaring through the skies with the agility of a hawk, recording in high definition and responding to commands in milliseconds? To find out, we travel to the heart of a cutting-edge factory in Shenzhen, China and discover the process. Building a drone is not just about assembling parts. It is like sculpting a work of art that defies gravity. In the most advanced facilities, hundreds of engineers and craftsmen, many with backgrounds in aeronautics, work side by side with precision robots. In a single plant spanning thousands of square meters, up to 4,000 drones are assembled daily, each one designed to fly at 120 kilometers per hour, avoid obstacles, and capture the world from impossible angles, like a painter creating a canvas from the heights. The drone industry set itself a bold challenge to create compact machines that combine lightness, intelligence, and durability. It was not an easy path. After countless meetings between designers, engineers, and programmers, the modern drone was born, like the DJI Mavic Pro, which raised the industry standards. Its major innovation was the polycarbonate chassis, reinforced with carbon fiber, a material as light as a feather, but stronger than aluminum. In the past, Manufacturing such a chassis at scale was an expensive dream, but manufacturers found a way to make it viable. To achieve this, in 2014, factories dedicated exclusively to producing key components were built. Imagine a workshop where every piece is molded with the precision of a jeweler cutting a diamond. The result? A chassis weighing barely 100 grams, allowing 40-minute flights and resisting winds of up to 60 kilometers per hour transforming the drone flying experience into something as intuitive as riding a bicycle. Drone manufacturing has roots in aeronautics. Since the 1980s, when military prototypes paved the way, manufacturers have adapted technologies from aircraft and satellites, miniaturizing them for the mass market. In a production center, a team of 200 specialists works in clean rooms that resemble space laboratories, producing up to 100,000 drones a month. Inspired by the assembly processes of fighter jets, these centers are a testament to how large-scale precision can create small but powerful machines. A drone production line is a spectacle in itself. It all begins with sheets of polycarbonate and carbon fiber cut by high-precision lasers that work like a sculptor making the first strokes on a statue. These sheets, as thin as a sheet of paper, are placed into molds and heated in pressurized autoclaves like giant ovens that transform raw material into an ultralight chassis. Each chassis undergoes a resistance test where robots apply pressure to detect imperfections, like a doctor examining a bone to ensure there are no fractures. A few meters away, in another section of the factory, brushless motors are manufactured, the beating heart of the drone. Here, automated machines wind pure copper wires, thinner than a human hair, around stators, weaving an electrical network with the delicacy of embroidery. Neodymium magnets, so strong they could hold a book in the air, are fixed to rotors with special adhesives, aligned by robotic arms with precision down to thousandths of a millimeter. It is like assembling a Swiss watch, where every gear must fit perfectly to prevent vibrations at 40,000 revolutions per minute. Once ready, the motors are installed into the chassis arms, secured with microscopic screws that require the expert hand of a technician. Meanwhile, in a clean room that resembles an operating theater, circuit boards, the brain of the drone, are assembled. Technicians wearing anti-static gloves solder silicon chips that integrate GPS, gyroscopes, and artificial intelligence processes, as if implanting a nervous system into a living being. Each solder joint, smaller than a grain of sand, is made under magnifying lenses to ensure that the 4K camera and collision sensors work with surgical precision. An initial check, known as the connection test, verifies that all systems communicate, like a conductor ensuring every musician plays in harmony. The line moves on, and now it is the turn of the propellers, the wings of the drone. Molded from reinforced polymers, these parts are produced in injection machines that give each blade the aerodynamics of a bird in flight. Before installation, they undergo a balance test 
spinning at 15,000 revolutions per minute to detect any imbalance. Then, they are fitted onto the motors with a quick mount system, designed so pilots can replace them in seconds. At the heart of the production line, the lithium-ion battery, which provides up to 35 minutes of flight, is integrated into the chassis. Each battery, a small block of energy weighing 90 grams, is secured with thermal adhesives that act like a miniature radiator, dissipating heat during intense flights. A vibration test simulates a turbulent takeoff, ensuring the battery remains in place, like an anchor keeping a ship steady in a storm. As the drone takes shape, the main shell is assembled at a key station, in a moment known as the marriage. Here, Technicians with years of training connect the cables, sensors and motors with a precision that rivals a surgeon's. A robotic arm equipped with laser scanners examines every connection, ensuring a perfect fit, like an architect verifying a building's foundation. Then, the drone passes through a light tunnel where technicians look for imperfections on the surface. The final touch takes place in the paint shop where each drone receives a handcrafted finish with 12 colours available, from matte black to vibrant red, technicians apply several layers of paint by hand or use decals to offer product differentiation. Each piece is polished thoroughly with special materials, as if it were a sculpture ready for a gallery. An inspection in a light tunnel ensures there is not a single flaw. If an irregularity is found, the piece is repainted, although it is worth noting that some models are not painted at all the assembly line stretches like a mechanical spine, divided into 15 perfectly coordinated stations. At each one, specialised technicians work in synchronised shifts, as if following the score of a complex industrial symphony. Each drone, still incomplete, moves along a conveyor belt that lifts and rotates it with millimetre precision, allowing each operator full access to its structure. It is as if the drone were a patient in an operating room, and each technician a surgeon with a specific and timed task. From assembling the articulated arms to integrating the navigation sensors, every step is calculated to the second. At the final station, the remote control system is installed, a technology that might, at first glance, resemble the controllers of children's electric cars, but hides much more advanced engineering. This control must be able to send and receive signals over distances greater than 15 kilometers in commercial models, and much more in military models, which can be operated from thousands of kilometers away, crossing invisible borders thanks to satellite communication networks. Each technician has only 10 minutes to complete their task before the drone moves on to the next station. There is no margin for error. The design of a drone is a balance between aesthetics and functionality like a miniature fighter jet. The aerodynamic lines, inspired by the wings of an insect, reduce wind resistance. The air intakes, like the gills of a shark, cool the motors during long flights. Every detail, from the stabilized camera to the GPS, is designed to maximize performance. Inspiration comes from both nature and technology. The cockpit, with LED lights and touch controls, resembles a jet, while the propellers mimic the flight of an eagle. This design is not only beautiful, but makes the drone intuitive and adaptable to any situation. Quality control is as rigorous as the assembly itself. Each drone goes through a unique test known as the buzz test, where technicians listen to the sound of the propellers to detect any imbalance. Inside a test chamber, winds of 90 km per hour and sudden turns are simulated, while the sensors are calibrated to detect obstacles at 20 meters. The final test is an actual flight on an outdoor runway, where the drone climbs to 150 meters, performs 300 degree maneuvers, and lands with millimeter precision. The data, from battery consumption to GPS stability, is analyzed by central computers. Only drones that reach 99.9% .9 accuracy receive the green light, like a pilot passing a flight exam. And that is how drones are manufactured in the most advanced facilities in the world. What did you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. In the windows you will see next, there are more videos that may catch your attention. Go ahead and watch one. See you next time.